Hi, kamusta? Ako si Dennis Benbiay. Ako rin po si Jun Buenavente. Nandito po kami para presentahan ko kayo ng pagluto ng sinigang. Ang gagamitin po natin ay water this cooking na pangalan po ay Pro Health Ultra gawa po ng New Era. Nandito po uh, kami ay para mapakita po namin sa inyo ang mga features ng ating kaldero. Itong kaldero po nito is uh, surgical grade stainless steel. Ngayon, waterless cooking po siya. Magsiluto po tayo ng sinigang na wala pong tubig. Ngayon, itong kaldero po nito ay very high-end siya at mamahaling klase. So ngayon, papakita po namin sa inyo kung paano po magluto ng sinigang uh, at si Jun po ang magpepresenta po sa inyo. Okay, ito po ang uh, sinigang na very popular po sa Pilipinas. Itong madalas sa twins ng pamilya because they have soup on it. But most of the time, hinahaluan nila ng tubig. But this time, we will show you how to cook sinigang uh, to, to really maintain the full nutritional value na walang tubig because of the technology of the cookware. Now, we will preheat it to a medium heat. Um, usually, kapag ka electric stove on a pipe, number five, and if it's gas, uh, six or seven for the medium. Now, make sure na the, the treatment whistle is open, meaning nahigitan nyo there's a hole there that the steam will come out. And then we will preheat it for at least about two minutes. And after that, uh, lalagay po natin ang tomato. Ngayon, bakit June? Bakit tayo ay nagluluto dito sa, by the way, dito ay six quarts. At this is good for about a family of five to six. Ngayon, bakit tayo nagluluto ng ganitong klase na walang water? Saan mang gagaling ngayon ang tubig nito? Ang gagaling ang tubig nito because the cookware has a vacuum seal, uh, the, the, the water will come out from the vegetable itself. So, ang, ang vegetable po mayroong tubig. So, we will take that water from the vegetable who has full of vitamins and minerals. Okay. So, ngayon, pag nagluluto po kami ng, ng vegetable, uh, madali po siya maluto. Tsaka po, ang sinigang po natin ngayon ay shrimp. At alam nyo, pwede po tayo gumawa ng sinigang na meat. Kagaya po ng manok, uh, baboy, uh, isda. Ngayon, sa mga meats na matitigas, eh, mas matagal po ang luto. So, ganito po ay uh, siguro mga 10 to 15 minutes luto na po ang ating sinigang. Kasi mabilis po maluto ang shrimp. No? Ngayon, um, ito pong um, uh, pagluto po natin ay tambak system lang. So, lahat po ilalagay natin, hindi po mahirap siya. Tapos, kasi high-tech po yung cooker niya, hindi nyo na siya aalagaan o babantayan. So, go ahead. And how do we know kung talagang nakukuha natin ang full nutritional value ng pagkain? Because our company has the technology, we are the only company that has this, we have the treatment we sell. This has three settings, meaning, pag sinarap po natin to, yung moisture po niyang init sa labas, once na sumipol ito, the steam comes out, you hear the whistle, the temperature is 187 degrees. Para po ma-maintain natin yung nutritional value ng pagkain, we need to stay on 190 level. So once it's whistle, all we need to do is put it on the low uh, settings and then close this, this, uh, the whistle and then leave it for a few minutes and then let the, uh, the cookware uh, extract all the water from the vegetables that we're mixing. Yeah. So ang cookware ho nito, um, pag tayo po ay uh, nagluto ng meats, ay mas matagal po ng konti. So ngayon, pag na-reach po yung boiling point sa loob ng cookware, ito po yung patented three stage ng vapor valve po natin, ay tatawagin po tayo at sasabihin po ay malapit na po maluto yung, ano, yung uh, sinigang at ilo-lower natin po yung heat. Ngayon nakita nyo, ni-start lang namin po ng medium. Kasi po, makatipid po tayo sa kuryente kasi ito ang high-tech, hindi po kailangan ng high. So ngayon, sa loob kasi siya, makita nyo ang design niya is unibody, kaya pag numinit po siya, meron kayong maliit na mini oven ho sa loob. So ngayon, pag nagluluto siya sa loob at na-reach niya yung boiling point, tatawagan ho sa, sa atin ng ang kaldero para sabihin ay uh, i-lower mo na yung heat kasi baka masunog yung niluluto mo. At mawala din yung mga vitamina at mga minerals na nasa loob ng ating vegetables. So ngayon, mukhang mainit na dyan. Okay. So ngayon, ilalagay po natin una ang tomato. Kita nyo po, narinig nyo, nagkasang nag-sizzle uh, siya. And then, next to that, ilagay po natin yung onion. Ngayon, habang nilalagay ni June, ang tomato is about 1 to 2 pieces of tomatoes. 
Ang onion, depending sa size, is about 2 to 3 pieces, ang, ang onions. Ngayon, again, this is good for family of 5 to 6, no? depending on how big your children are. Ngayon, as you see, it's not very complicated recipe. There's no measurement, it's just dump system. Tambak is in the Filipino translation. Tambak lang lahat, pero unahan muna natin ang tomatoes at yung onions. So the ingredients po nito is we use the tomato, the onion, and we use the uh, string beans. We have the pepper, the long pepper. We have the, uh, the radish. And then gumagamit po kami ng okra. This is popular. And then we use the uh, pechay. And then finally, we use the shrimp. So the main flavoring on this uh, sinigang is, of course, the shrimp. Now, that is the meat that we are going to cook today. Now, however, if we do cook the, the uh, harder meats, such as uh, beef or chicken, we will first cook those because they take longer to cook. So as you see, we started with the onions and the tomatoes. But if we're cooking, cooking the meats, we will have to preheat the cookware longer, uh, more than the two minutes, because we have to cook the, the meats. And then we include the, the vegetables after. And then we lower it down to simmer. And about uh, for the vegetables, as we're cooking today, about 15 to 20 minutes. With the meats, we about 20 to 25 minutes, simmer it down to low and simmer for another maybe five to six minutes and be ready about 30 to 35 minutes. Now this time for, uh, we had it for about uh, a minute, so we will mix the, the radish. Because it's mas matigas po itong gulay ito, so we need to mix it to really extract the water. Ang radish po sa atin sa Pilipinas ay sa okoy mapuputi, eh kasi po dito sa Amerika, so eh, iba po yung radish na to. Pero it's still with the family of, of radishes, no? And this time, uh, it's about to mix our uh, uh, tamarind soup base. Ito po yung nagpapaasim. Ito yung bibigay ng sarap. Maasim siya, pero masarap sa bunganga. Your face will be beautiful when you eat because this is really delicious. Yes. And of course, it's made by Noor. And uh, as you know, Noor makes stock. And, and uh, you can buy this at any grocery stores. But um, in, in some small areas of the United States and Canada, it might be exclusive to Chinese stores or Filipino stores. And then if you really want it really maasim na maasim, we use about one and a half of the bag of this uh, nor soup. And of course, a lot of our uh, mothers and grandparents, we will make the seasoning from scratch. So that's also available, but because we are cooking and we're, we are pressed for time, we are already using nor that's already prepared. Okay, so I'll add half more of this so that when you taste the soup, you can smile. <laughs> All right. So depending on how, how many people uh, you're feeding for, this, for supper, for the evening, it really depends on how much of the soup base tamarind you will use. In this case, for a family of five or six, it's about one and a half of the pouch. OK, this time we're just waiting for this to really steam a little bit. And after that, I mix the vegetables, and I'll put it on low. Uh, heat for about two minutes and then we we'll shut off the stove and then wait for another two minutes and it's done. And as you will see, once it's finished, you will see the textures of our okra and textures ng ating bok choy, string beans, makita niyo yung retentions ng vitamins, minerals, at makita niyo rin yung sabaw. At masarap po ang sinigang na to at pag naluto niyo dito ho sa aming waterless cookware. Mm -hmm. The most important po pag nagluto ng gulay is make sure that the color of the vegetables is really stays as the same as when you put it on. Green, yellow, or orange, nandun po ang nutrients niya. It will stay 98% because of our technology. So June, so I guess we just have to wait until, until it starts to whistle starts to and whistle. reach the boiling point. And then we include uh, our vegetables. Yeah, we'll mix the okra, the green beans, the pepper, and then the shrimp. And lastly, we put the uh, pesto. Yes. And as you know, we put the, the shrimps uh, first before the pechay, so because the, uh, the, uh, the vegetables should be on top because of the steaming of the, uh, the cookware. So we will have a nice, uh, beautiful, uh, and very tasty vegetables. Well, this time I can hear it sizzling a little bit, so maybe we can put the shrimp now on top of this. So for those of you who are in a rush, coming from work, uh, you can pre-prepare your ingredients. It's not really very difficult to prepare. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes and you can serve this uh, with the family. And of course our staple is rice. 
uh, very, very fast to cook our rice, within about 10 to 15 minutes also. And then you can have carbohydrates of rice and our sinigang, which has the uh, 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 shrimp as our protein. And we have, of course, all the vitamins and minerals from the vegetables. Now you call, we'll just I'll close it again, and then we'll wait until it whistle. On this whistle, we close it completely, low, and then wait for two minutes, and then turn it off. Oh, June, uh, we whistle na na go na. Yo, meaning, kung whistle na, it's about time for us to what? To close this uh, whistle. Make sure you close it, and then lagay po natin sa pinaka low settings. And then we will leave it there for about two minutes, and then it's time to put the best of us. This is the last one. Lagay po natin sa ibabaw. So, yun, mga ilang minuto pa, pag nalagay na natin ang bachoy. Ang mga two minutes lang. After this, shut it off, and then we're done. Pwede yeah. na po tayong kumain. So we just wait for two minutes. Mag simmer lang siya. Pagkatapos niya, na pwede natin pakain natin familia. Again, it's good for five to six people. Uh, kanina po nakita niya nagwisil like, siya. That is the reason why we we said that no pot watching. So pagkasi na lang yung po in one shot yung lahat. Meaning you can leave the pot, do something else, and then when it whistles, you come back and put the other ingredients, and then leave it, close it. And then, voila, it's done. We are ready to eat the tamarind sinigang. Ngayon, June, bakit ngayon hindi tayo naglalagay ng tubig na bakit siya tinawag na waterless cooking? The reason why we call it waterless cooking is because the cookware has its own seal. When it seals, it, the moisture, all the moisture from the vegetables goes back to the cookware rather than lumalabas po ang steam. It will not travel outside. Ngayon, pag tayo po yung naglagay ng tubig sa ating uh, sinigang, ano po ang pinaka-main ingredient or chemical na nasa tubig? Ang chemical po nasa tubig is chlorine. Without the chlorine, maaari pong madimanda ang uh, water system because the water has a lot of bacteria or whatever uh, um, hazard uh, Yeah, mga hazardous na mga, again, mga bacteria. So ngayon, pag naglagay po tayo ng chlorine dito sa ating sinigang at meron pong chemical yun, so ngayon, meron pong mga vitamins, minerals, mga nutrients ang ating vegetable. Ngayon, mangyayari ngayon is makikemical sila ngayon ng chlorine. So magkakaroon sila ng contamination. So ngayon, pag hindi po natin sila nilagyan ng tubig, so wala po tayong chlorine sa ating, tub uh, sa ating sinigang. So one of the reasons pa kaya we, why we extract water from all the vegetables is because we have a seven-ply construction of this uh, material. Yes. At ang theoretic steel nito is one of the uh, seventh ply, one of the ply, is actually ang nagpapatakbo ng the whole uh, even cooking tsaka yung technology ng ating waterless cooking. So the even cooking, because it's un unibody, is from the bottom to the wall all the way on top of the cover. That's why ang tawag po natin dito, stove, uh, oven on top of the stove. Ngayon, makikita niyo po, hindi po tayo naglagay ng tubig. Ang malaking question ho dyan is may sabaw ba po ang ating sinigang? So ngayon, hindi ho ito mirakulo, makikita nyo po, papakita ho namin sa inyo, at malapit na yata ang dalawang minuto, at makikita nyo ho, at may, uh, mapakita namin sa inyo, at meron ho siyang sabaw. At nakita nyo, ang dami ho nating vegetable at uh, ingredients na nailagay, nagkasya po lahat sa, sa loob. Kasi po, pag tayo nagluluto, ang mga tubig or vitamins and minerals, yung sabaw niya, bumababa sa ilalim ng kaldero, tapos lumiliit ngayon ang ating mga vegetables. So this time, uh, it's about time to close it, and then iwan nyo lang po ng two minutes, and then it's we're ready to eat. Oh, another another two minutes is just to simmer, para lang yung yung uh, lahat ng steam niya sa taas ay maluto pa yung bakchoy na nasa taas siya. At ngayon at mag mag drip din yung mga steam at makompleto ho yung sabaw natin sa ilalim. Kaya po, if you want to really raise your family and have a healthy cooking, this is the best cooker in town. Ito po ang the latest note that you can have with your family. Okay, Jun. I think uh, pakita na rin natin ngayon sa kanila na itilt lang natin at pakita natin at makikita po ninyo ang kulay po ng vegetable. 
uh, mas, mga, mga green ho siya, lalo na yung pechay natin tsaka yung okra. Tapos yung ating uh, string beans, makikita nyo ang kulay niya. Ngayon, at makikita nyo po ang pinaka-importante ay yung sabaw kasi yan dyan ho ang vitamina, uh, nutrients ng ating nilulutong sinigaw. So this time, I'm opening down the cookware with a smile. Wow! See how green it is? Kasi nandiyan po ang full nutritional value ng pagkain. So when we tilt it, makikita po natin, you see, the water is there. So it's like magic, but it's not completely the magic, but the cookware. That is the difference between the cook of this cookware to other cookware. So, yan na po ang katapusan ng aming presentation ng sinigang. At maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapanood. Kumusta po sa inyo lahat and uh, sa mabuhay. mabuhay. Put the shrimp on. Mix some other vegetables on it. Okra. And then the green. Now, John, can you just take a scoop of the, the soup there? Okay. So, this is the soup. Now, this soup right here is loaded with vitamins, minerals, and lots of nutrients. Now, this is probably equivalent to one of your multivitamins that you take. So, by eating healthy cooking like this, you no longer have to buy those multivitamins from the pharmacy, and you're actually taking um, natural uh, supplements instead of man-made supplements. The best part really to enjoy the full nutritional value is from your diet, where again you get it from all the food that you cook. That's an extra expenses when you buy the supplement, but you can really enjoy it when you cook in this kind of uh, cookware. And we've cooked a lot of these sinigangs, the shrimp, and people's testimonials is like the sweetest shrimp they've ever tasted. So enjoy.